Jay Dilla is one of the most admired and respected producers. While he influenced many genres, his impact on lo-fi hip-hop stands out as one of the most significant. This genre, among others, truly captures the essence of his unique style and legacy. Today, we explore Jay Dilla's legacy to trace his impact on a genre that has become the ambient backdrop for many of our lives. James Do It Yancey, known as Jay Dilla, embarked on a musical journey that would influence future generations. While his life was tragically cut short, his legacy remains profound. Throughout his career, Dilla collaborated with a wide range of iconic artists. During the 90s, he teamed up with artists like The Far Side, Busta Rhymes, De La Soul, a tribe called Quest, and not to mention his group, Slum Village. Dilla would later become a key member of the Soulquarians, an influential alternative hip-hop and neo-soul collective. Within this collective, he collaborated closely with standout talents such as D'Angelo, Erica Badu, Common, and The Roots. Each collaboration was a testament to Dilla's ability to seamlessly blend with and elevate any artist's sound. Jay Dilla's approach to production was groundbreaking, setting him apart in the industry. He possessed an almost intuitive ability to pick out samples, frequently sourcing from lesser known jazz, funk, and soul records. He would chop up the samples and transform them into something original. This talent for sampling was about evoking emotion and connecting with listeners on a profound level. His drum patterns were another signature, characterized by its off-grid and organic feel. Instead of perfectly timed beats, Dilla often let his drum lag slightly behind or come in just ahead of the expected beat. This organic feel made his creations relatable and timeless, becoming the backbone of the lo-fi hip-hop movement. Dilla was a maestro when it came to the MPC 3000, a piece of equipment used for beat making, which was his instrument of choice. Many would say that he humanized the MPC. Under his fingers, the MPC was an extension of his creativity. With it, he sculpted detailed, layered, yet raw and unfiltered beats. Today, his style of production can be distinctly heard in the beats of lo-fi hip-hop, echoing his timeless techniques and unique sound. Lo-fi hip-hop, a genre characterized by its laid-back beats and atmospheric sounds, gained significant tractions in the 2010s, especially on YouTube. While Jay Dilla's influence on the genre is undeniable, other artists have also left their mark. Nujabes, often called the godfather of lo-fi hip-hop, brought emotive melodies that resonated with listeners. Madlib, another key figure, introduced a wide range of sampling that added depth and diversity to the genre. Beyond individual artists, the genre also found inspiration in the rich traditions of jazz, soul, and ambient music. This fusion of influences resulted in a sound that felt both nostalgic and fresh. Jay Dilla's profound impact on music production can be traced in the works of many lo-fi hip-hop producers. For example, a producer like Knowledge was influenced by Dilla's unique sampling techniques. Knowledge, known for his intricate beats, blending soulful samples with laid-back rhythms, channels the essence of Dilla's approach. His production serves as a tribute to Dilla's enduring influence in the world of modern beat making. Fast forward to today, and lo-fi hip-hop has become a cultural phenomenon. YouTube is filled with channels like Chill Hot Music, Lo-Fi Girl, and College Music, offering 24-7 streams of the subgenre drawing in millions of subscribers dedicated to streaming these soothing beats and providing listeners with a constant backdrop for relaxation, study, or introspection. These platforms showcase the creativity of lo-fi hip-hop and serve as gateways to its pioneers, with Dilla often recognized alongside Madlib and Nujabes. Jay Dilla's legacy stands tall and his influence can be felt in the layering of beats, the choice of soul-stirring samples, and the overall texture of the music. Even as lo-fi hip-hop continues to evolve, embracing elements from electronica and various other genres, the core of the sound has the heart and soul of Dilla infused into it. Jay Dilla's passing left a void in the music world, but his legacy is far from silent. Every lo-fi track with its ambient beats and nostalgic undertones carries a piece of Dilla's soul. As we look to the future of lo-fi hip-hop, it's evident that while the genre will continue to evolve, the foundational influence of artists like Jay Dilla will always be its guiding beat. In celebrating Jay Dilla, we're not just remembering an artist, we're acknowledging a force that shaped and continues to shape the very essence of lo-fi hip-hop. So the next time you find solace in the mellow rhythms of a lo-fi track, 
take a moment to nod to the legend, Jay Dilla, whose spirit resonates in every beat. When I make my music, you know what I'm saying, I, I, want, I want people to feel what I feel, but I, I want them to feel that energy that I, whatever it was, yeah, that, that's all it is, because I, I make it straight from the heart, so it's like, to be taken for anything else is crazy to me. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.